Alright oh, guys, welcome back to Supremacy 1914. This one here has caught my eye, this year of 1914 one, which just includes Europe. <clears throat> Games are going to be quite a lot shorter, especially compared to this 100 player one here. Oh my God. Russia is the easiest country, although it's given me UK. <laughs> Do I just have like no oil? Right, so we're literally good for everything except the oil. Great. I suppose I better just start putting workshops and stuff everywhere. Hold on. Most of these places have recruiting officers. All of them have recruiting officers. Oh yeah. Do I have anywhere that produces oil? Like literally anywhere. No. Got the coalitions. There's no coalition. Right, we're gonna create one. We're gonna call it. Um, join to win. Do I even have any pictures on this computer? No, I don't have anything. There we go, I have <laughs> ripped this PNG right out of the air, uh, the Steam files, but there we go. Hold on, why do I have 7,000? Gold mark. We could swoop in and take some Belgium. Why is Belgium so big? Could they have not included the Netherlands? Yep. There's no Switzerland either. All right, I'm here for day two. Well, has anyone joined our alliance? I have sent an application. Please let me in. For God's sake, let me in. Okay. Right. So we have our first ally. Right, we're going to uh, send a message to Russia. Anonymous, yes. I think I don't want to focus on my navy, being as though England is pretty much every province in England has got coast on it. So, all right. So uh, I was going to invade Belgium, but it does appear that we're allied with them. Oh, oh, okay. I suppose I can just work on my navy, being as though I've got so many provinces that are next to the sea. Is that how you play England in this game? I'm going to build a railway here, just so I'll get some more, more of the good stuff. I have to wait another day before I can start building railways and things like that. A public opinion poll revealed that the following nations are the most feared. <laughs> First, Great Britain. Why am I the most feared nation? I'm probably the least intimidating on there. Now, I would invade Denmark if it had things that I actually needed. It doesn't. Hold on. Hold on. I will send 22 troops. I need some of them sweet, sweet natural resources, so I'm going to invade Denmark. Yeah, uh, so there was like 20 troops up there. 20, and my army of 22 lost. Got one active spy here, who just decided to have the day off apparently, so I'm, I don't know how many troops are there. Is Spain controlled by an AI? I mean, Spain isn't even a thing anymore, but... Oh, railway bill. The troops won't take us long to move around now, that's cool. But also, it's a day eight, which means we can finally build factories. All right, we can finally build some factories. Pay egregious price. All right, do I have enough oil to build a factory? Wait, does does a factory require oil to keep running? Because if that's the case, then I'm not going to be able to keep it running. I'm going to go and send these fellas to take it. Hopefully, we get some oil, and we're attacking. We're hopefully going to take some provinces. Anything exciting happening for day number 10? Oh, certainly is. We've taken a province. It's a new lot there. And up here. Yeah. And we've got all blue materials. This is amazing. Right, upgrade the factory. Oh. What province did I want? From who?
We haven't taken this yet. What? How many troops are there then? You know what? I'm recording this background noise and all. All I can do is apologise about that, but... Yeah, no, I don't think I'll join the 500 player match, if, it, if it's all the same. Mm. These two provinces continue to elude me. Ooh. There's a factory level 4. Although... Yes! Alright, oil. Alright, this is... Alright, here we go. Oh. Name. What are we naming this boy? Um... It's, uh... HMS All right, so it's day 22. Let us uh, have a look <laughs> Wait what <laughs> wait this game has ended. You cannot give orders anymore. What? Why did it end? I'm still quite clearly afloat. Oh, there's HMS Boat. That is right. The climactic end to this supremacy saga ends with the most anticlimactic ending in the history of ends. I still have no clue as to why it ended as soon as it did. No country or coalition had achieved supremacy, so I was kind of scratching my head as to why it did end. So if anyone knows the answer, please feel free to let me know in the comments. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, and goodbye. <laughs>